Hi everyone, I'd like to welcome you to the Principal's Newsletter column for the first time in Semester 2. I've been asked to address families about a few matters that pertain closely to my role as the Deputy Principal of Wellbeing. Prior to the recent SNAP lockdown, we had started Semester 2 with an increased focus on the way our students wear their uniform to school, at school and home from school. We need all students wearing their college blazer and their sports jacket as the outer garments to school. Shirts must be tucked in and ties and top buttons need to be done up at all times. We're asking our students to attend homeroom each morning wearing their blazers or jackets and we've encouraged teachers to issue demerit points if their standards are not up to scratch. I've included the uniform requirement document in the newsletter for families to refresh as we need support with this from home. We expect everyone walking through our gates in correct uniform, which makes a strong statement that they are proud to be part of the SJC community. Our pupil free day that we had at the start of the term saw our staff engage in an intercultural and interfaith day, which was led by the Jewish Christian Muslim Association, JCMA. The presentations and workshops helped raise our intercultural and interfaith awareness whilst upskilling all of our intercultural understandings, sensitivities and competencies. I'm very proud that we have a collective staff who buy into diversity and who are open to learning more about the other. This goes a long way in growing the community's understanding of what it is to live the golden rule. We all know the last 18 months has challenged the St Joseph's community in many ways but we feel we're coming out of that with an increased appreciation of our own and others' well-being. There is currently a healthy culture of respect amongst the boys and we're continually impressed with their resilience. Our well-being, faith formation and teaching and learning programs are all designed to engage and connect our students to be in touch with who they are whilst challenging them to look through the lens of others in our community and society. This promotion of inclusivity and diversity was evident late last term in our strong participation in National Reconciliation Week, themed More Than A Word, which challenged us to be braver and to take more action towards reconciliation and to listen and to understand. The National Refugee Week, themed Unity, The Way Forward, again promoted the power of listening and sharing in other cultures of our peers. Our Year 8 students have also recently completed their renewals led by Courage to Care Australia, who set out to educate our boys about the dangers of prejudice, racism and discrimination. Next week, all going well, our community will again be invited into the celebration of the 2021 SJC Diversity Week. Our student leaders who represent the EREA touchstones of gospel spirituality, inclusive community, justice and solidarity and liberating education have all been busy designing a week that explores all forms of diversity that complements the themes of Reconciliation, NAIDOC and Refugee Week. The students want there to be a focus and a celebration in the diversity of our age, the diversity of, of our abilities, the diversity of our sexuality and gender, the diversity of our cultures, the diversity of who we are. We're extremely proud of our student leaders and of our Respectful Relationships team who help promote messages of support, love and inclusion to everyone. As COVID-19 continues to challenge us with uncertainty, I feel strongly that St Joseph's investment into the identity and well-being of our community gives our students the best chance at experiencing success and reaching their personal best with their learning, even though we're currently in and out of the remote and face-to-face -face teaching methods. I'd like everyone to take care and I thank you again for your ongoing support.